Greetings everyone on my channel. This video is about mixing two different materials jasminite and resin. I mixed jasminite according to the rules. I added mineral powder to the water-based acrylic polymer. I stirred it for about 1.5 minutes to avoid lumps. I use regular construction paint colors for jasminite. They are many times cheaper and give great, bright colors. I wanted to create a marble effect, so I added some blue pigment to the finished mass, then pink. You can see that I didn't mix the pigments all the way in. I spread the mixture diagonally, I like it better this way than to make a straight line of acrylic and resin. I ran my fingers along the sides to make sure there were no bubbles. I did the same thing with the outer tray. I ran a toothpick around the edges of the mold to distribute the mixture evenly and not get pitted on the sides of the tray as it dried. Next, I mixed the liquid epoxy resin. I added some jasminite crumbs to the resin. These are also called chips. You can add any amount of crumbs, as many or fewer as you like. The effect is completely different in both cases. The crumbs can be large or very small, it depends on your idea. You can watch my video on how to make proper jasminite crumbs. I'll leave the link below the video. I then add alcoholic copic blue and purple ink to create the transparency of the resin. Then the jasminite crumbs look beautiful in the resin. Fill the rest of the silicone mold with resin and crumbs. I used a torch to make sure there were no bubbles. Check the piece after an hour and then after another hour, as air bubbles may appear again and again in the resin. It is worth removing them again with a torch. After 24 hours, I take the pieces out of the molds. They make interesting coasters that can be used for trinkets, perfume, candles, etc. Thank you for being with me. Subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.